Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 11. Hey, if you want to download this file, BI 348 chapter 7, the second file, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're still in chapter 7 talking about model building. But guess what? I'm going to show you how to calculate your current grade, except for we want it totally dynamic. So as soon as you add any new scores, your grade, percentage, and decimal will update automatically. And we're going to use an awesome dynamic feature called the Excel table. Now think about this. We need to know our score for the assignment, the actual total points possible for the assignment. Then we add those and we calculate our percent and decimal grade. I'm going to start off by typing assignment tab points possible tab my points tab. That's all we're going to need for our field name. So every time we have a new assignment, we come put the name, the actual total points possible, and then your points. I'm going to add some formatting because this is going to be the field names at the top. And all I'm going to use is Control B. Assignment, we're going to say homework, homework number one tab. Points possible on this is 50. And I got 43 points on that. Now check this out. This is a proper table, field names at the top, and we have one record. But we're going to use the Excel table feature, because as I add new assignments or records, I want all my formulas to update. So watch this. I'm going to click in a single cell in our table, go up to Insert, and Table. I'm going to use the keyboard Control T. Now the table feature is amazing. When I click OK, it'll format it. It will add these drop downs that allow us to sort and filter. And there's a bunch of other cool things. But the main cool thing is, watch this. I'm going to type my next assignment directly below. And watch this. As soon as I hit Tab, the table expands. Now I'm going to type the points for that 40, and I got 37. Control Enter. Now let's come over here, and I'm going to type total possible, my current points tab, percentage grade tab, current decimal grade. I'm going to highlight all of these columns, and then double click to instantly best fit all of those. Now these we do not need to be dynamic. We're only going to have formulas below. So I'm just going to add some formatting. Add some formatting for our formulas. Now before we create our formulas, I actually want to come back over to the table and click inside the table. And you get a context sensitive table tools design. I'm going to click on that. And in properties, I do not like the name table one. So I'm going to click there. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it My Class Scores. Now the reason that that's so important to have a name for this table is now when we start building formulas and point to this, it's not going to show us cell references. It's going to give us the name of the table and the name of the field. That's how it knows as we expand to automatically update. You could actually use references also, but I'm not. I'm going to use Alt equals. That's the keyboard for the auto sum, and highlight total possible points and check that out. You put the table name and the field name. Tab, Alt equals, highlight my points column, table name, column name, tab. Now I can do my percentage grade. Equals, it's always the part divided by the whole or the total, tab. Now before we can calculate current decimal grade, we actually need the grading table from our syllabus. Now, I'm going to I've already opened up our website. This is a PDF, and it's actually not as polite as if we had it in an Excel spreadsheet or even a Word table because those would automatically uh, paste into Excel. But check this out. I'm going to highlight all this control C, alt tab to come over here. And I'm going to come over to the side. I'm just going to try and see what happens if I Control V to paste it. Oh, that does not look good, copying from a PDF. Control Z. There's a great trick. I mean, this trick doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. I'm going to come up to Paste and Paste Special. And I'm going to try to paste it as text. And when I click OK, well, almost. 
what it did was it pasted it at least as a series of cells. I still need to split this apart. Now I can already see that I only want to highlight the grade, so Control Shift Down Arrow. And notice if I want to split this, if I'm going to use text to columns, I have some text in a single column and I want to split it off into multiple columns. It's a space that separates the percentage from the number. That space is called a delimiter. It is the character that separates the two fields, percent and decimal. So now I'm going to go up to the Data Ribbon tab, Text to Columns, or I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-A-E. The delimited or fixed width, sometimes you split columns if it has a fixed number of characters, but we don't. We, have, we want to use delimited. Next, it is a space. And watch the preview. You can uncheck tab and as soon as I click a space, wow, that is cool. I'm going to click Next. We could preview each one of these. It's looking fine. The destination, I'm actually going to let it replace J2. Sometimes you want to keep the original and paste it into a different starting cell. So you could change that, but I'm going to leave it and click Finish. Just like that, boom, I have what I want. Now I'm curious. I'm going to go over to the Home Ribbon tab and check that out. Text to column made that percentage and made that general. Now our label needs to change. I'm going to highlight the decimal grade and control X backspace to get rid of that space tab control V now that is a nasty little thing that happens after you do text to column notice I had two words and normally if you paste it into a single cell it puts it all into the cell but it thought I wanted to continue that delimiter splitting so control Z I'm going to trick it by hitting F2 and then control V by the way to turn that off, you have to save, close it, and open it back up, and then it will not, no longer do that. Actually, look at that. It automatically took the format from there. I'm going to right click and point to the Format Painter to copy the format. And then I'm going to click on Percentage Grade, double click over here, click in a single cell, Control Asterisk on the number pad to highlight the whole table. And I'm going to go ahead and add some borders. Now for VLOOKUP right here, this won't work. I need to sort it from smallest to biggest. So I'm simply going to right click sort, smallest to largest. And as we know, sort will work just perfect. Now I can do my VLOOKUP equals VL tab for the lookup value. I'm definitely looking up my unformatted percentage grade. That's a decimal there, comma, and the table. Click in the top two cells. Control Shift Down L F4 to lock it. Table, that's the whole table. First column has the value that it will try and match. Of course, it's going to take that 0.88888 and race through until it finds the first bigger one, which will be 0.89 or 89%, and jump back. So the grade should be 3.4. But notice the 3.4 is in the second column. So I'm going to comma 2 for column index comma, and we're doing approximate match, so we do not need to put true or one. It is the default, so I'm in a backspace. Remember, if you see square brackets in your screen tip, it means if you know the default, you can leave it out. We're doing approximate as the default. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, and there is our grade. Now, the amazing thing about this whole setup, and you could format this at, if you want, And remember that that formula will always look underneath at the unformatted number in the cell and then use that to look up. But here's the amazing thing. And I'm going to type homework number 3, 50 points tab, and I got 42 on that. And watch, I'm entering in multiple records. So since I'm in the last cell and the last record in my table, when I hit tab, it automatically adds a new record. Test number one, it's worth 100, and I got 87 points. Control Enter. And you got to be kidding me. Look at that. It is absolutely dynamically keeping my total points, my current points, the percentage for both of those, and it's always looking up the current grade. So there you go. That's a little model building, but for calculating our grade. All right, we'll see you next video.